Auto Obsessed here. Two in one tire and wheel cleaners. Cleaning two different surfaces, metal wheels, and rubber tires with one cleaner. Or wheel plus tire plus floor mat cleaners, three in one products. These surfaces often bear the same contaminants mud, sand, salt, rail dust. So it makes sense that there should be cleaning products that can do all three surfaces wheels, tires, and floor mats. In this video, we'll talk about how we evaluate wheel and tire cleaners and review the new Griel's Garage 3-in-1 Wheel Tire Mat Cleaner. Griel's Garage Wheel Cleaner. This is a mainstay in the detailing industry. It's been around for a number of years, and what makes it famous is that it's pH neutral. It's not acidic, it's not alkaline, so it can't damage the wheel finish which is great for painted and powder coated wheels, but especially important for uncoated wheels like raw magnesium or aluminum. The drawback on the wheel cleaner is that it's not super effective on rubber. Using a wheel clean on rubber isn't as fast, easy, or effective as a dedicated rubber tire cleaner, which is exactly why tire cleaning products exist. They can get the rubber looking nice and black without a whole lot of scrubbing and elbow grease. Now anytime there are two products in play for what is essentially one area on the vehicle, manufacturers see an opportunity for two-in-one products and there are a few of them on the market. An interesting fact, these products are often alkaline. Everybody wants to claim non-acid on their wheel cleaner and tire cleaner because acid can etch wheels. Some of them, for example, are a pH of 11, which isn't extremely alkaline, but if you spray it on and walk away, you might see some unwanted effects on the wheel. Other alkaline wheel cleaners have a crazy high pH, like pH 13, which is basically drain cleaner level. These are specialized products, but they're very compromised products. They need to be used with great care, they tend to dry out quickly, sometimes less than a minute, and that leads to etching or clouding on sensitive wheel finishes. So if you're not paying attention, those intense cleaners can cause some serious issues. In extreme cases where the wheel has been badly neglected or in really bad shape, we do need the power of an acid or an alkaline wheel cleaner. There's no way around it. A pH neutral cleaner just isn't going to do the job when dealing with that level of contamination. But most of the time we want something that's safe and easy to work with, something with a comfortable working time, so that's why pH neutral is a benefit. We don't need to have the stopwatch on it. We can just trust that it's not going to dissolve or stain the wheel finish. What would be great is a pH neutral cleaner that's safe for all types of wheels, good at cleaning faded brown rubber tires to a nice clean black look, and good at bringing dirty, dull floor mats back to a fresh, clean shine. Which brings us to the new Griel's Garage 3-in-1 Wheel Tire Mat Cleaner. So what are the qualities we care about here? Well, beyond being pH neutral, we prefer wheel and tire cleaners that have a good clinging foam. When you're cleaning your wheels, they're on the car, it's on a vertical surface, and when you spray your cleaner on, obviously gravity wants to pull that liquid off the wheel and down onto the ground. If you spray a cleaner onto a wheel and it runs down off the wheel in 20, 30 seconds, you only have 20 or 30 seconds of cleaning power from that product. If it's not on the wheel and if it's not dwelling there, reacting and lifting the dirt, then you're not getting the cleaning result. And if that's your situation, well, you're basically wasting your money because you're not getting good value from your wheel cleaner. So Griel's and other good wheel cleaner manufacturers try to develop cleaners that have a good cling effect, where the cleaner wants to stick to the surface and not dribble down onto the ground. The better the cling, the longer the working time for the cleaner on the wheel, and the better your result. A good cleaner is going to be able to stick onto the wheel for three or four minutes, and lift off the road grime and brake dust for you so you can come back, brush it, and rinse it totally clean, ideally with only one application. Cleaning wheels isn't really fun. It takes some physical effort. You're bent down, you're scrubbing and brushing. So generally, you only want to do that once per wheel. We don't want to have to reapply and do it again. So what's the cleaning power on wheels? Well, this is a medium strength wheel cleaner 
It easily handles road grime, light to medium brake dust. It's great for maintained wheels. And what's the power on tires? Well, this product easily removed previous tire dressings, new tired mold release, and day-to-day -day road grime, then left a clean residue free finish that is ready for tire dressing. What's the cleaning power on floor mats? Well, floor mats get dull, they get covered in dirt, dust, salt, they get scraped by your boots and sand and shoes, and this three-in-one cleaner brings them back. In our testing, we saw that the Griot's product did a lovely job cleaning rubber floor mats and cargo mats. It rinses residue free so there isn't anything slick left behind on the mat, which is important especially for the driver because that's a safety risk. You don't want anything slippery under your feet when you're driving the vehicle. Smell. So there are plenty of wheel cleaners and all-purpose cleaners out there with strong, unpleasant chemical scent. Some cleaners, if you get too close and accidentally inhale some of the fumes and that breath catches in your nose or throat, you almost feel like you're choking. Thankfully, Griot's made the three-in-one cleaner a really nice scent. It's not a harsh chemical fume at all. It has a light fruit scent to it. Lastly, the Griot's Garage three-in-one tire mat cleaner eliminates the need for three separate products. Griot's Garage wheel cleaner, Griot's Garage rubber cleaner, and Griot's Garage interior cleaner, which prior to this would have been the recommended Griot's Garage product for floor mats. Directions for use. This is safe on clear coated, powder coated, and chromed wheels. It's not for use on uncoated, anodized aluminum, magnesium, motorcycle wheels, or plated brake components. For tires and wheels, ensure that the wheel is cool to the touch, and depending on how dirty, you may want to rinse the wheel first. Next, working one wheel at a time, spray the three-in-one on wheels and tires, ensuring a full coverage. Then allow to dwell for 60 seconds. Do not allow to dry. Next, agitate with the preferred wheel or tire cleaning brush. And lastly, rinse the wheel. Directions for floor mats. Remove the mats from the vehicle. Next, spray three in one directly onto the mat. Allow the product to dwell for 60 seconds. Do not allow to dry. Then agitate with a stiff nylon bristle brush. And finally, high pressure rinse. The Grills Garage 3-in-1 Wheel Tire Mat Cleaner along with a full Grills Garage lineup can be found in store or online at autoobsess.com. We've also added the links for the products below to make it easier for you. Let us know what your thoughts are on the new Grills Garage 3-in-1 Wheel Tire Mat Cleaner and if you have any questions on this product, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Please help us bring more detailing content to you by giving us a like, leaving us a comment below, and subscribing to our channel. And thank you for watching.